What's up guys, it's Mike here with Grow Indoors 365. Thank you for tuning in for another video. Uh, today's video, I'm actually, it's gonna be an experimental video. I wanna show you guys the difference it makes when you have plants that are limp. I mean, uh, we're gonna see. I, I, I've had this work before. I've had this situation before. Some of this can come back to life. Some of this will not ever come back to life. But I'm hoping and betting on this limp, basil plant some of the top here is still in good shape a lot of things are not doing well here the reason is we've completely run out of water all right we've completely run out of water as you can see here literally the pump is running no sound is being made and this is exactly what i mean when water evaporates with the oxygen being provided to the roots this water gets depleted pretty fast and there's no need to basically change out the water the water goes dry like a desert like a like I don't even know like a is there ever is, is are there rivers in the desert I don't know bottom line is this thing goes dry like a river once was um, so what I'm gonna do is this is just segment one of this experiment I'm gonna keep rolling uh, I'm gonna put together this video and see what happens after we add water we add and we start pumping the oxygen through the aerator stone can this basil plant can this plant here can anything here come back to life that is the main focus I want to see if things can, can come back to life my, my special focus is on this basil plant because I, I feel like a lot of this other stuff it's it's too late this needs to be cleared out new seeds need to get germinated immediately to start replenishing this top level tier here um, so that's what's going on there and this is the main focus of the video oxygen deprived plants can they be saved alright let's continue let's move forward and see what happens with this beautiful basil plant so this is like literally maybe an hour and a half not even two hours after as you can see here I put plenty of water in there I didn't even I didn't even add additional nutrients but what I did was I did change out the aerator stone let me show you if you were wondering so this actually this is the aerator stone that was in there this is what they start to look like uh, after significant use uh, but yeah this one basically dropped to the ground and if you drop one of those aerator stones that's literally what happens and I'm in the middle of that's all the waste that basically unfortunately happens when you have overgrowth I, I've been really thinking about it I'm gonna do a separate video on why abundance shouldn't be the goal and what I mean by that is um, I'll have to come back for that title for my next video why I don't believe why I believe that you need more containers and more lettuce that you could consume more but don't ever allow it to get to this level because once it gets to this level you're gonna start getting a lot of rot a lot of things underneath will start having issues okay and that's that's just an issue it's just annoying so what I did was this was at the bottom here okay that one was up here but as you can see here I cleaned everything out of there I mean there's plenty of still to clean but I came down here I grabbed a couple out of there I'm actually gonna I'm gonna eat that kale back there because I'm still uh, it still looks good uh, so I'm gonna hit that kale after that I'm gonna I'm gonna scrap everything else and and, uh, and take care of that and then we're gonna get a couple you're gonna, we're gonna get three rows down here and we're gonna have three probably new things up here but the main experiment for today is I got off topic uh, a minute and a half ago going back to how this looked an hour and a half ago when no oxygen was pumping to the root and as you can see here the root system is big but it's not that crazy from the top here but take a look take a look at the difference in a leaf that's already made okay it's not it's it's still a large leaf but I believe maybe tomorrow and I will continue shooting this video until tomorrow and we will I'll come back to see some additional progress but I mean this specific leaf this huge one's feeling better too what I'm looking for is for them to feel stronger okay because the life was sucked out of this thing and it went limp just like a human being with no oxygen so we're gonna come back in 24 hours and take a look if there's any more 
weight or if it's a little stronger in the sense of structure because that that was the biggest issue once you notice that that's what happens you know I mean everything around this was just dying because it lacked the necessary oxygen that it needs and uh, uh, you know people grow non hydroponically okay they grow plenty of vegetables outdoors however and their veg gets the proper oxygen that it needs directly from the dirt you know what I mean so for hydroponics this is what I'm looking at it's not a deep water culture but it, in a sense it is a deep water culture but you also have the oxygen from the bottom which that's just how I like to grow and I feel that I get the best results when you're adding the pump and you're, you're just providing all that aeration directly to the root system. I feel like it gives it the, the, the highest degree of quality and your, your, your everything here grows faster and it just like, it, it looks greener. It's more oxygen to the roots, just like when you're breathing in, out, in, out, in, out, filling your body with oxygen just creates, in, in a bit of time, if you actually breathe in and out for five minutes, slowly, rapidly, however, like a Wim Hof method, okay, if you guys know who that is, uh, check it out on YouTube. If you, don't, um, if you don't know who that is, check it out on YouTube. It's all about that breathing method to increase oxygen capacity in the lungs, which will allow just overall uh, mental clarity as well as just like uh, higher capacity of oxygen in the lungs. It's just good. I felt it good. I actually did it for a couple of days. It felt great. But bottom line is that's my I, that's my ideology when I look at plants and why I feel that they need oxygen and they strive when there's a significant amount of oxygen. Anyway, let's come back in 24 hours and take a look at this plant and uh, see where it gets us from there. This is now about 24 hour additional 24 hours after we've added the water and just kind of uh, cleaned up the area to make sure everything's looking good. I mean, as you can see here this is even looking much fuller and more alive but uh, speaking about that one single leaf as you can see here overall it's got its definition it's a much healthier feeling heavier leaf and a much more kind of fuller more I would say I wouldn't say durable but more uh, you could you could just feel that it's got life back into the leaf and it's I mean it's actually hard to to kind of feel that because it's such a humongous leaf. I mean, just take a look at that thing. But as you can see here, a huge difference in where it was prior to being, to having its, um, being oxygen deprived. So, pretty cool. But now this is up here. This is looking real good. Everything's looking real healthy. I'm gonna chop some of this down right now for lunch. Everything is looking real great. Um, and that's really it. I'm gonna cut the video here. Uh, but I just wanted to really focus on uh, oxygen deprivation and, uh, you know, showing you guys what can be, what can happen to your plants when they are deprived of oxygen. Uh, so again, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure to give me the thumbs up if you like the video and share it with anybody that might find it useful. And make sure you hit the links down below for everything that you need to grow like me. Guys, thank you so much. Have a great week. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.